Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you very much for stopping in. It's been a little while since the Q50's been in the garage for an update and an upgrade. Today, we are installing the rear diff brace from Z1 Motorsports for the Infiniti Q50 Q60. Yes! I'd like to say that I'm the first one to install this rear diff brace on the Q50. Maybe I'm not, but I very well could be. Probably the first one to do it on YouTube, so I'm pretty pumped about that. We're going to get this thing installed today. And then we're going to get some under the car footage to really see what kind of a difference it makes. So let's get started. So we'll take the factory bolts out and then Z1 provides these extended bolts. So let's just get under the car with some tools and see what we got to do. So this should be a relatively simple installation today. Just a couple of things that you're going to need. You're going to need a socket wrench, possibly a small extension. You're going to need a 12 millimeter socket and a 14 millimeter socket, and that should be it. Of course, uh, maybe a jack and some jack stands, you're good to go. Again, we have the rear diff brace from Z1 Motorsports and then the extended 12 millimeter bolts for the uh, rear diff cover. First thing we're gonna do is take these 14 millimeter bolts off of these diagonal uh, braces. You just have to take the bolts off from this end. You don't have to remove the whole brace. these you're gonna reuse them these are loose now that's all you need a little bit of flex we're gonna remove these three bolts at the lower end of the diff cover Slide these little wings under these brackets. I'm just going to start these bolts back in. It's definitely taking some finagling. I have a feeling that my, my uh, diff bushings are really causing more of a problem than I suspected. Uh, I don't think it's the brace having an issue itself um, because there's been a few people already that have told me that they installed this and they love it. Uh, so I'm still recommending the brace, but I don't know if you can tell, it's taken a lot of lining up to try to get this to work for me. Um, you can see there's a big gap there. I got these holes finally lined up. I think this one will be fine. Uh, but this one tightening down, I'm trying not to put too much pressure on these bottom diff bolts. Um, just because I just really don't want anything to break. Uh, so I've been trying to do a little bit at a time. I couldn't really get this one threaded. I had to use a lot of force to get the first couple of threads started. Really don't want this to crack anything or break anything. Doing a little bit at a time. Okay. They do have the torque specs in the directions. I'm gonna say the brace is like 40 and these are like 30, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, there she is, got her installed. Identifying another common issue that's pop popping up. Axle seals leaking, that's fantastic. Looks awesome. Yeah, her bolted down tight. Hopefully because I had to tweak it a little bit that it didn't put too much strain on the diff cover itself and these bolts. Definitely don't want to crack the diff housing. Um, it's 
get out and test this thing. I can already tell just pulling out of the garage how rigid the rear end feels. This is crazy. Okay. The GoPro is almost dying, so I gotta focus on getting the clips. I had like 10% left, so I gotta get out to the road. I can 100% feel a difference. Just going 10 miles an hour, driving out of the neighborhood. I don't, is this good? expect to feel a difference I did not expect to feel a difference just going over bumps uh, you know it's it's the diff it's a diff brace it's a rear diff it, you know it doesn't really absorb bumps We're, we have independent rear suspension so you know your suspension is handling bumps you hit a pothole or manhole cover with one side that side absorbs it I didn't expect the diff brace to make the car feel that nimble it feels like the rear end is one piece if that makes sense it's weird um, I can feel it kind of going like this uh, so it definitely makes the rear end more rigid inside the car but I just did a, like a little pull uh, through third gear uh, a little bit of short shifting but I'll be honest it actually feels like the shifts are more crisp I don't know if that's because the slack is taken out or it just keeps things more clean uh, I didn't really have a lot of wheel hop anyway even with the bad diff bushing I actually didn't really have any wheel hop and I didn't try to, to burn the tires just now uh, but with grip, it felt it crisp. Crisp is the only word that I can use to describe it, honestly. It feels really good. I'm gonna have to do more testing, obviously, but I gotta say my expectations were low just having used other diff braces before. Uh, I, and, you know, it, it, the design right out of the box looks good. No doubt about that. Um, I felt good about it. You know, it's much better than whatever else is on the market right now, believe me. So overall, design quality, materials, it just it just seems more robust. It's more substantial. It's one solid piece. I could tell right out of the box, like I said on the, in the unboxing video, uh, that it, the quality was there. And it actually was conceptualized and engineered appropriately and properly. Um, so it looked like it was going to do the part. But now, actually having installed it, oh, God, it, you can feel the bumps. You definitely can feel a little bit of the, you can feel the imperfections in the road a lot more. Uh, it's a lot more apparent. Uh, but when you add rigidity to your chassis, that's going to happen just have to accept it. So the design properties and the engineering is actually there. It's actually present with this diff brace. Uh, so it looked great out of the box, but now after having installed it, and it was a really fast installation, by the way, too, like 15, 20 minutes with some basic hand tools and some jack stands. It did take me a little bit of finagling, like I said, to get the holes to line up because my bushings are so bad. Apparently that's the reason for it. Um, just talking with Z1, uh, I originally had the car up on ramps and we thought maybe that was putting a little bit too much pressure on the rear diff itself with worn out bushings and I filled the rear diff bushing with that epoxy stuff so it may have misaligned some things um, but just putting it up in the air on jack stands uh, it seemed like I had a little bit more wiggle room I still did have to force that one side up but once I got all of the threads started uh, I was able to line everything up and you could see it kind of torque things back into place so uh, nonetheless Fast installation, concept seemed to be there, but now actually in use, it seems to work. We obviously have to test this a little bit further and you know put a little more stress on it and really try it out. Um, but I can certainly feel the difference immediately on the road. So that's that's a big deal. But like I said, you know, I tried to install this one initially and, and then ran into those misalignment issues and I didn't want to force anything into place. So I was conversating with Z1 and in the meantime, um, I had some people reach out and say that uh, they bought the diff brace right after my 
uh, unboxing video and had gotten it within a couple of days and had it installed and the feedback has been excellent. They all have said that it feels so much more stiff, so much more rigid. They feel like their traction has improved dramatically. Uh, feels like they have more contact and better contact with the road. So feedback has been exceptional. And I, I don't know what feedback Z1 has been getting, but people are messaging me like crazy. I concur, I'll say that, I concur. I concur with what everyone is saying. <laughs> I can, you can feel the road. Uh, it feels like the car is getting more grip. Yeah, it's just, I'm gonna have to feel it out a little bit just because I kind of feel like I did have to torque things into place a little bit. So I hope I'm not putting too much extra strain. They do give you those elongated bolts, which is really good. That's helpful knowing that it's threaded fully. <sighs> I still a little scared to launch it and get grip. I'm listening for creaks and groans and crunches and clanks and stuff like that, which I'm not hearing any of, so that's a good sign. a little bit of chirp there and hooked and went uh, that was just in drive so uh, that's exciting we'll do a lot more testing uh, when the weekend comes around and get a chance to drive this car a little bit more guys uh, but for right now first impressions excellent but you guys know we'll for surely do a watch before you buy video after I have a chance to really kind of put this thing through its paces uh, I was excited to finally get it installed get the GoPro under the car I'm pumped to see that footage I haven't looked at it yet obviously but we'll put that into this video as well uh, let me know if you guys have picked one of these up for yourself. Um, uh, right now, like I said, first impressions are really good. You definitely can feel that the brace has been added. First impressions, initial impressions immediately after installation is a thumbs up from me. Uh, I think you should definitely consider it. If you wanna watch and wait until watch that watch before you buy video, do it, no problem. But right now I think excellent bang for your buck. Awesome product, Z1 Motorsports. Now get those diff bushings out to us.